How's it going, everybody? This is a YouTube video now. For some reason, I'm doing this live, but I'm 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 bothering the people that are watching me for some reason and held, hold, holding them hostage. Basically, what I'm complaining about today, because this is Roy rant. Uh, I'm ranting about my job. Everybody rants about their job, right? The problem is every time I rant about my job, for some reason, it's a fucking taboo or some shit like that. And people come message me, text me, comment. Oh, why you complain about your job? Just leave it. Oh, why are you doing this? Yo, how about you suck my dick, bro? Straight the fuck up, bro. Straight the fuck up. Suck my dick. That simple. Why? Because all you motherfuckers do is talk shit. Y'all don't know about the situations. Y'all don't know about shit. All right? I would love to leave my fucking job. I just fucking can't. Also, who the fuck is going to pay the amount of money that my lame ass, shitty ass job is paying me? Right? That's the thing. That's the problem. Motherfuckers don't understand that shit. Is my job finessing me and treating me like shit? Hell the fuck yeah. And I fucking hate him for it. 100%. But that's the thing though. Who paying close to $18? Nobody. And that's why nobody wants to go to work. Nobody wants to go to fucking work because motherfuckers aren't paying. You make more money off of unemployment right now. Like shit. And I'm over here actually working and y'all don't even care. A lot of companies have the opportunity to work because of us. Because if you, if we don't do the work that we do, they can't do shit. They literally can't. It's basically illegal if they do something without our, us coming first. Right? So the fact that fucking companies are depending on us, like we're talking about empires, bro. We're talking about fucking multitude of companies bro like i'm talking about thousands not even hundred thousands more depending on us and they couldn't even give us 20 cents 10 cents 50 a dollar a dollar is a lot to ask for for the type of work that i fucking do so what happened okay this is it so i'd be complaining about work on my Facebook. Hasn't happened in a while because I haven't complained about work in a while because I'm like, fuck it. I hate these motherfuckers. And that's it. Simple. That's pretty much it. So last time I complained, I complained about what was it? Oh, my job doesn't pay me what I what I what I what I, what I should be getting paid. I think is what it was. Or I can't remember what it, exactly it was. I, I, I it might not even be that motherfuckers. Two motherfuckers. Not everybody, though. Two motherfuckers. Or like, oh, just leave, right? And then the other one was like, oh, like you just don't want to work. Bitch, obviously I don't want to work. That's literally the whole point. I don't want to work. Yet I still work. Get the fuck up every single fucking day and go to work. But for what? For a shitty ass company that doesn't give a shit about me, that could literally replace me. I mean, they can't replace me because they can't fucking hold nobody because they ain't shit. Literally, they literally ain't shit and they can't hold nobody ever. Right? So my point is if I do if I die right now, they will literally replace me next week if they could. But they can't because they can't but they can't get people. People don't fuck with them. Basically. Long story short. You know what I'm saying? Ridiculous. So what's going on? Motherfuckers complain. They don't understand what I'm complaining about, right? But they always talk shit because they're idiots, right? And it's okay. To each his own. Whatever the fuck, bro. You're ridiculous, all right? For thinking I can't complain. Because to me, that's so stupid. You can be happy. Okay, you can be happy with your partner that you're going to spend the rest of your life with. And just because you complain about some things or you complain about whatever the fuck they do or they have something that you don't like or whatever, you tell them, all right? You're not going to end the whole relationship just because of that one thing or whatever the hell it is. You work it out just because I work there and I continue working there and I continually criticize it does not mean that I can't do that. I can literally complain all I want. I work there. I understand what it is to suck and what it is to have a shitty ass job that doesn't understand or appreciate you or at least pay you. I don't even give a fuck if they appreciate me. I don't need them to appreciate me. Like, this is not a fucking high school. I need them to pay me for what I work. That's my point. That's what I'm trying to get at. 
and me complaining about it, I have the right to complain about it because I can. I literally bust my ass every single fucking day. And if I want to complain about whatever the fuck I want, I complain about it. You don't fucking like it? Suck my dick from the back and fuck off. That's simple, right? Cool. So I'm getting sidetracked. Whole point of this rant is this. I bust my ass every single day at work. Boom. I do eight hours. I never do more. Right? And check this out. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you the levels to this shit, right? You know what it is for a boss to always tell you. Jess, thank you for the rate. Appreciate that. You know what it is when your boss always tell you, oh, you would make more money if you would work overtime? No. No. That's not the point. That's not even close to the point. I don't have to work extra to make more money. No. You should give me more money for the work that I do that's already extra, bro. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Like, that's so ridiculous. That's so, that whole idea of like, oh, overwork yourself just so you can make more money. No, just pay me more. That way I don't have to overwork myself. Like, where is this logic? It literally makes zero sense. It makes no sense. All right? It doesn't. Pay me more so when I do work overtime, I make more money. Simple, right? I have a certain amount of goals that I have to complete of tickets or whatever. Lately, they've been trying to fuck me over because they've been putting more than what they usually put on everybody. And what they usually put on everybody is is 15-ish to 22 tickets for you to complete in those eight hours. And, and most of the time, they put nine hours for other people. But since I've been talking mad shit, like I've been talking cash shit to the face, they've been trying to fuck me over. So check this out. So 20 tickets a day. It'll say eight to nine. It'll say eight hours for me. It will say nine hours for somebody else, right? I do 30 to 40 tickets every single day, right? And I have a busy ass area because somebody left and they gave me like another area and then another area on top of it. So I have like three areas. Everybody else takes care of one. I take care of like three, right? And sometimes more, which is insane. It's literally the most insane thing ever. So, okay. I do 30 to 40 tickets in eight hours people be at work for 10 to 11 hours and they don't even hit their goals that most of the time are less than 20 they're 15 16 or whatever and they don't hit those goals i double them in less time while dealing with three freaking areas and what happened i i know for a fact i deserve a raise i let my boss know that i'm quitting because I'm, I'm fed the fuck up. I'm just fed the fuck up, dude. I'm sick of the shit. I'm tired of the shit. I'm fed the fuck up. Tell my boss straight up. Hey, man, I'm going to be real with you. This shit is unfair. This shit is fucked up. I asked you, what was the move with my raise? Because I never got my raise. He said, oh, like I talked to the guy, whatever, like, da da da, like, whatever. I'm like, why didn't you let me know? Because I told you I was going to wait a couple more days to see what was going to happen. And I'm going to put in my two weeks if it didn't work out. You didn't let me know. You fucked up. He said, yo, yeah, my bad, whatever. I got mad at him. Doesn't matter. Let's skip that part, right? Long story short, I tell him, look, man, I'm going to put my two weeks in and I'm going to be real with you. The only reason I'm going to do these two weeks is because I know how bad my area is. And if I leave, you won't have nobody to take care of this shit. And I don't want to do that to the guys because, you know, you know, you get you get cool with your coworkers. I know they're just coworkers. But well, you get cool with them. And I'm not trying to fuck them over. I'm not. Straight up. I'm not. I'm trying to be cool with them, you know, cordial, nice. Like, you don't, you don't fuck up your boys. You know what I'm saying? Even if they're just workers, co-workers of yours or whatever. Like, you don't, you don't do that. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I did. I was like, you know what? I'm going to put my, my two weeks in, whatever. Like, I'm going to do that, and then I'm out. He's like, oh, please don't do that. Like, I'm like, I need you. You know, I need you, da, da, da. I'm like, look, man, y'all not giving me money. I'm not even asking for a lot. I'm asking for a dollar. I'm just asking for a dollar. I've been here for close to four years. I've been stuck at 1750 ish for like the past year and a half or two years. So it's like, bro, what? So I'm like, all I'm asking is for a dollar. 
Like, you don't understand what that is. It's just a dollar, dog. Okay, whatever. I tell him that. He said, okay. He gives me his supervisor's number. He makes me call him, right? I call him, district manager, whatever. I call him. I'm straight to the point. I'm like, look, man, I'm about to put in my two weeks. I have no clue why, but my supervisor told me to give you a call before I put in my two weeks. No clue why. I'll be straight up. I'm like, no clue why. Like, that ass. Um, dude didn't care. Dude didn't say nothing. He's like, yeah, man, I, I have no clue why he told you to do, to call me or whatnot. And I said, I don't know. Maybe he just doesn't know how the whole two week process works. So maybe let me know. Let me know how it works. Right. He didn't say shit. He was like, uh, I don't know, bro. Like you just, you just say you're going to put in your two weeks and you put in your two weeks. That's it. That's it. Okay, cool. That's that's pretty dope. And then I and then before I hung up, I'm like, so you don't even you're not gonna ask me why I'm putting in my two weeks or nothing like that? Like like that's it, you good? He said, Yeah, I'm good. That's okay, that's fine. And I'm I'm getting fed the fuck up. And I'm like, bro, so basically y'all need people and you just gonna let me go and you don't even know why I'm leaving. You don't even bother asking me what's going on. Like, what? He's like, yeah, just let me know. Uh, I mean, he basically said, yeah, just email your supervisor and let him know about the two weeks. And I'm like, and I literally, I was like, bro, I was, I'm pissed. I'm pissed, bro. I'm dead ass pissed. So I'm like, yo, dude, I'm literally telling you. I'm going to put in my two weeks. And the reason I'm putting in my two weeks is because y'all can't give me a dollar. One dollar. That's nothing. That's nothing. And then I start, I start bickering at him. I'm like, look, man. Why, why would you not even consider giving me a raise? Like, I don't understand. I put in the work for you guys. I do eight hours a day, he said. He said, when I said that, he said, that's one of the problems. <laughs> I said, excuse me? How is that a, par a problem? Oh, you're putting eight hours a day. People are putting 10, 11 hours. You're just putting eight. I said, oh, I'm sorry. I'm putting eight hours. I'm doing more tickets. And most of the people that you have here, most of the people that you have here in eight hours, I'm saving you three, two hours of money that you have to pay me. I'm saving that for you. And I'm doing double the work that most of the people are doing in 11 hours. And you're saying that's a problem. What? Oh, that's a problem because everybody, everybody's, uh, this is a team effort. Everybody's doing like, like everybody's teamwork. Everybody's this and that. And I'm like, I'm not talking about everybody. I'm talking about me. Like, what are you talking about, bro? I am here putting my time. I am here doing my work. I do my work right. That's another thing too. You do your work wrong. You have to go back to that ticket. That's time wasted and you don't get paid. Like the company, not us, because that's another fucked up thing, too. We do a bunch of tickets a day, but we only get paid hourly. We don't get paid no salary. No, not salary. What the fuck? Fuck salary, too. No, like, extra money for doing an X amount of tickets and nothing like that, bro. They make thousands off of these things, bro. And we get paid a measly fucking amount of money. And, yeah, that's another thing. The ticket you close it out. And you have to go back to that ticket. That's it. You know, they don't get paid for that extra trip, but they still have to do it. I don't have to do that shit. I, it's, it's rare. I mean, yeah, I'm not saying I'm perfect. I, I'll have times that, yeah, I might have to go back, but I'm so quick with it, bro. I literally have a ticket that's around the area. And while I'm driving to that area, I just move out real quick. Do whatever I have to do and keep on going. I don't even take freaking five minutes, ten minutes, none of that shit. Quick. What do you do for work? I do utility locates. All right. So basically, I, I hook up to like, I don't know, power meters, uh, power transformers, uh, 
pedestals, like cable, like AT and T and stuff like that. And I hook up to those things, and I and I trace where it is on on the ground, right? So that way they don't break it or they don't get hurt. Because if it's power, you could die. I can go to jail if I do my job wrong. Somebody could die if I do my job wrong. And you're paying me seventeen dollars, and I can I I can lose my life. Like, bro, what? Anyways, let me get back to the main point, all right? So the point is this. I, we keep on talking. We talk about, we keep on same subject, same subject. Like, basically, why he's telling me that I shouldn't get a raise. Next thing I tell him, um, after the whole eight-hour shit, I basically told him that, yeah, that, the whole thing. For the light company, no, 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 no. I work. Okay, let's say, how do I explain a little bit better? Um, let's say a pole breaks, right? A pole breaks. The power company has to come fix that pole, right? But before they can do anything, we come out to survey the area or, or see what's around that pole because they have to dig, right? So since they're gonna dig, I have to go there first and I have to verify what's around that pole that they're gonna dig up. So before they dig, I'm hooked up to like the phone, the power lines, uh, and the internet or whatever, or whatever's there. Sometimes they're, I mean, very rare. There might not be nothing there, all right? But most of the time there is. That's why this job is very important. Um, so yeah, so that you have those, run, those lines running and shit like that. I locate, I, I put paint down where those lines go so when they are digging, they're careful because they, they know, hey, he put this mark here, that's where it goes, right? So if I keep on digging here and it's a red mark, I could hit the power and fuck everything up. So they, they do it carefully and whatever and whatnot. So, I mean, the point is letting them know that there's something there and you have to be careful. That's the point. That's basically, long story short, that's basically what it is. That's what we do. So. Um, back to the dude. Um, next topic. Uh, what was the next topic? Can't remember. Can't remember the call because this call was three weeks ago. And the reason I'm talking about this, I'll get to why I'm talking about this. Other than because I fucking hate my job, I'll tell you the other reason why I'm talking about this. It's very important. It's key because it it's because of what happened yesterday, right? Monday that I came in. Other topic was I was telling him how many. How many tickets I do? I do more tickets than everybody. Eight hours, whatnot. Uh, my driving was low because they do. They keep scores. This is the most ridiculous thing ever. They keep scores, and since they keep scores, if your scores are bad, you're fucked, basically. But my scores are not bad. I had an eight on my driving. The best you can do is ten. I had an eight because what was the reason? Oh, so if you. Look how ridiculous this is, guys. This is so fucking ridiculous. If for some reason you're driving, right? You get a, a yellow light. The yellow light is going to turn red. So what are you going to do? You're going to stop. If you stop, right? If you stop and the speed of when you're stopping, I believe if it jumps every three, let me explain this better so you can actually understand it. If it jumps by three, you're fucked. That means you get a diesel for every every three. So let's say from eight, if it jumps from eight to four or eight to five, you get a diesel. A diesel means that you decelerated like like crazy or some shit like that. Every three. Every three. Like what? So if you get a yellow light and you get a red one, just eat that shit. That's their logic. That's their logic. Eat the light. Don't stop, because if you stop, you're going to get D-cells. And when you get D-cells, your, your points will lower or whatnot, right? My points lowered to an 8 because of D-cells. I'm going to be safe. I'm not going to fucking risk it, because I'm not playing no freaking red light ticket. Get the fuck out of here, bro. You're insane. So that was the other thing. You know, uh, yeah, your driving was bad. And then my damages. Bro, they put three damages on me that were not even fucking fair. 
they were not even supposed to go to me because I had a Michi, which is a thing that you do that basically states the contractor, hey, he's not doing work here, so he doesn't need me to do locates in this area. You know what I'm saying? So, like, clearing, like, basically explaining where the work zone is. And these motherfuckers were working where they didn't tell me they were going to work. So they hit something, and they gave me that shit. And I feel like it was on purpose. I'll be on 100. I feel like it was on purpose because, I, I, again, I was complaining about my raises, and then those shits happened. Cool. Whatever, dude. Fuck it. Going back on topic, though. Manager. District manager. Bozo. Whatever. Check it. This man goes. Oh. Um... I'm going to sum it up because we've been here for like a while. This dude goes, um, I tell him, hey, I, I feel like I deserve a raise. Like, and I feel like you guys are not giving me a raise. I've been with the company for close to four years. I've been stuck at 1750. Like, I feel like that's unfair. I mean, I feel like I put in the work. I, 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 I do everything I can. Like, I'm, I'm a killer. I was even a lead tech, which is under my supervisor. Because of how good I used to do my job. I mean, still do, because I still fucking do it. I'm still here. I'm still working. And he straight up told me, straight up, no pauses, no nothing. He straight up said, look, man, I'm going to be real with you. You don't deserve a race. No reason, no this, no that. You don't deserve a race. That was it. That's what he said. You don't deserve a race. You should put in your two weeks. <laughs> I was pissed. I was pissed. I won't tell you what happened after that. I'm still surprised I'm not fired if I'm being honest, bro. But I was pissed. I was I was I was ready to eat this man, bro. And I just told him a bunch of shit. Whatever. He then gave me gave me an example. What if somebody does the same work that you do? Which to me is the most ridiculous example ever. What if somebody does the same work that you do? Do you think it's fair that you got a raise and he didn't? I'm like, bitch, no, it's not. We should both get raises. We both deserve it. We're working for the shitty ass company. We should deserve the freaking raise. Like, what are you talking about, bro? Dead ass. And I'll be honest, I'm talking all brazy right now because I dead ass don't give a fuck. I really don't. The only reason I'm still here, bro, is to... Help the dudes that are my coworkers because they'll get fucked over so bad. Make a little bit of extra money because I need to pay off some stuff because I'm going on a trip soon. That's it. After my trip, I'm pretty sure I'm quitting. Straight up, straight the fuck up, bro. I am straight up. Like I've been, I've been thinking about it, man. I've been thinking about too many things, bro. Been thinking I'm going. I've been go I'm thinking I'm like even doing Uber if I have to, bro. I don't give a shit, bro. I'm straight the fuck up, bro. Like I'm dead ass. Dead ass, bro. So, fast forward to yesterday. What happens yesterday, right? Yesterday, we have the morning meetings or not. Everybody was surprised that I was in the morning meeting yesterday. I was still in my house. I was taking a shit, you know, taking a good doogie. And somebody called me. He said, Matt, you're on the call? Uh, we didn't think you were going to be on the call. And you give us a safety message, which is like, you know, saying this message related to the job or whatever i didn't i didn't respond i, I kept on mute because i was taking a dump like what the fuck dude i'm not gonna fucking give you a safety message I'm literally taking a shit bro. Like, are you fucking insane and yeah like i never responded so then one of the supervisors not my supervisor a different one look at this shit different supervisor he pulls up on me while i'm doing work while i'm actually working he pulls up on me and basically like kind of stalks me and then he was doing audits on me, something like that. I mean, I don't have problems with the, with the supervisor, though. So let me not sound like a dick. You know, it is a little bit odd and weird that he was following me. But hey, whatever, bro. Pretty sure he was doing his job. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to fucking hate on him for no fucking reason. But, yeah. Follows me and whatnot. He starts talking to me. He just explained to me that nobody, like, everybody thought that I, I quit. Everybody thought that I left. Everybody, like, whatever. And that yesterday was my two weeks, like, my last, no, no, last Friday would have been my last two weeks. I mean, if I put my two weeks in, that would have been my last day, last Friday. So when I came in on Monday, everybody was surprised. 
which I'm fucking pissed about. I should not fucking come in. And my point to this, this is my point to this. If they didn't, didn't need people, if they were not desperate for people, they would have came to my house and taken my shit. Because I've witnessed that. If you put in your two weeks, literally the same day you put them in, they tell you to turn in all your shit. Straight up. They didn't tell me to do all that. At all. Why? Because they're going through it. They're struggling. They can't keep people. And the reason they can't keep people is because they don't pay people what they deserve. And then they get mad or want to figure out why people don't stay. <laughs> Bro, today, this morning, I was on the look for my work phone. They sent an email to us. The, like, freaking district. Like, higher, higher ups. They sent an email to us. Telling us that we need to work extra hours. We need to work Saturdays and Sundays. That's seven days a week. Insane. Insane. That we have to work all this to be able to lower our production. And a dude, a dude responded. I still have the picture here. Hold up. I'm trying to find this shit. Where's the picture? A dude responded. Instead of pushing us like cattle, you should be hiring more people. Paying, as, paying, better, paying us better and training better. It is not our fault if we are behind. Like what? It's this motherfucker does not does not a type though. Like what the fuck? Is lack of uh, it's lack of planning on the part of corporate. He responded that to that to corporate. So it's not a me thing. Like everybody's literally with this shit, bro. It's on the same page. Everybody's on the same thing. I will be real with you, bro. I'm a. We're gonna have to do a revolution, man. We're gonna have to end these motherfuckers, bro. I'm gonna have to make a riot with everybody, bro. Straight up, dead ass. All those being dumb. <laughs> but yeah, pretty much this motherfucker really said that I don't deserve a raise, bro. In the in the rudest way ever, bro. Even if you hate somebody, you don't even you don't talk to somebody that you hate like that, bro. Straight up. Straight, straight up. Like, look, man, they're literally taking advantage of people like myself that would love to not work one single day in my freaking life. And yet I still wake up every single fucking morning to go to a shitty ass. People like me, people like us that don't want to go back to work because they don't pay us what we deserve. A lot of people have the audacity to say, oh, you're getting unemployment. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? This and that, man. What the fuck is wrong with you? All right. You want to be a fucking slave. That's on you, dog. All right. I look, I'm slaving myself right now, but eventually something better is going to happen. Eventually, I'm going to be able to quit. I'm the only reason I'm still here and I'm still working at the shitty ass company. It's just because I'm trying to pay something off, baby. Once that shit is paid off, you can suck my dick. All the fucking way. All right. And what I was saying is people are not going back to their jobs. Because they're not paying. It's better to stay home. Know your worth. And fuck all that shit, bro. Dead ass. It's ridiculous, bro. It's ridiculous that they don't want to. Nobody wants to pay. Nobody wants to pay. And then they want to get mad. As to why people are not going back to work. Like, y'all are ridiculous. Y'all are literally ridiculous, bro. Y'all can't even bother giving at least a dollar more. Y'all can't even bother giving a living wage. Bro, we've been due a living wage. Tell piss I am. We've been due a living wage. We really have been due this. It shouldn't take you to have a partner. It shouldn't take you, like it shouldn't take you to have your family in your house just be just for you to be able to pay your rent, your house, your bills. It shouldn't. One person should be able to live. Off of themselves. And again, these jobs get mad because people don't want to work. Dog, it's not about not working. Look, I hate working and I'm working every single day. I wake up every single morning because I'm trying to do something better for myself. It's not that I don't want to work. I don't want to work. It's true. 
but I still do it. And the fact that I still do it and they cannot have the audacity to at least pay me what I'm owed. Like, this is fucking ridiculous, bro. Fuck this shit, bro.